Earlier in this newscast, we told you about the White Sox firing some of their biggest names in the front office, Kenny Williams and Rick Hahn. Well, the White Sox may also be hunting for a new home. That's according to published reports by Cranes. The team has six years left on its lease. But as our Charlie DeMar reports, the Sox have threatened to leave before. He joins us now from Guaranteed Rate Field with more on this potential move. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Chris. Yeah, a lot of news coming out of the south side today. As for the future of the team, it might help to take a look back to 1988. If you remember, it was all but a done deal that the White Sox were headed to Florida until some last minute political maneuvering kept the White Sox in Chicago and on the south side. The team right now, they say they are just beginning to explore their options. Most White Sox game days, you'll find Kerry Stagmiller pouring at Turtles Bar and Grill just blocks from the stadium. Turtles and Bridgeport in general have a family relationship with the White Sox. Published reports suggest that White Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf could be eyeing a move out of Chicago or the state altogether when the team's lease expires in six years. My hope is that it's a rumor and it will never ever happen because Sox belong in Bridgeport. Let's shut this place down and go home and forget the White Sox. Vote no! In 1988, it appeared as if the White Sox were headed to St. Petersburg, Florida. T-shirts were even sold with the new team name. You have to remember that Florida did not have a Major League Baseball team at all. Tim Nickens reported and was editor of the St. Petersburg Times. We got the tip that Jerry Reinsdorf was coming to town to make the push in private to key Florida legislators that, about getting this money. Until former Illinois Governor James Thompson stepped in to wrangle last minute votes in Springfield to build a publicly funded stadium on the south side. A statue outside the ballpark credits Thompson with keeping the Sox in Chicago. And this was the right thing and they did it. Katie Crawl used to coach in the Boston Red Sox organization and now teaches sports economics at Northwestern. At the time, it was a way, I think, for both the Illinois State Legislature and for Mr. Reinsdorf to be mutually invested in something that was going to benefit Chicago as a whole. As for the publicly funded stadium that Illinois taxpayers are still on the hook for. In thinking about the balance sheet and whether or not a taxpayer is going to see a return, it's going to come in things like going to the game, the entertainment complex as a whole. Now, in a statement, the White Sox says at this point they've not had any formal discussions about its lease, but with six years left on that lease, it's just natural that those discussions begin. Governor J.B. Pritzker chiming in on the conversation, saying that he hopes that the White Sox will stay in Chicago and that he does not support public subsidies for private teams. Reporting live from Guaranteed Rate Field, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.